If you're starting a calisthenics workout program but you have a lot of extra weight on you, you might find it a bit difficult even with the most basic exercises like push-ups and pull-ups. So in this video, I want to share with you guys my recommendations to start dropping the weight and begin your calisthenics program safely. How's it going everybody? I'm Ryan and this is Minus the Gym where we talk about how to be fit and healthy without a gym using calisthenics. And if that sounds good to you, keep in mind that subscribe button is right down there below. I've gotten some requests down in the comments about, hey, I wanna start calisthenics, but I'm overweight, where should I start? And that question has come up a few times now, so I wanna make this video just to address it, that if you are really overweight, like morbidly obese, or you're just carrying a lot of extra weight on you, you're going to find calisthenics or body weight exercise to be more difficult than the leaner people. And I think that's obvious, but the reason why is if you take a look at for example, uh, weightlifting, right? As a personal trainer, if I was gonna be training someone in the gym, I would start them off, whether I was teaching them bench press or squats or deadlifts or anything like that, I would always first explain the exercise, demonstrate it myself, and then have them try it with only a barbell. No extra weight on the bar, you know, no plates, nothing, just the bar itself. And the reason for that is any exercise is going to be easier with less weight. And the same thing applies to calisthenics. The less weight you have on you, then the easier it will be to do the push-ups, pull-ups, dips, squats, lunges, and all those exercises, even, even going up into the more advanced things like levers and flags and handstand push-ups. All of that is easier when you're leaner. And that's why a lot of the really advanced calisthenics athletes and street workout athletes out there, they're so shredded it's because they don't, they don't have room for body fat. They, that just slows them down and holds them back. So they are purposely very lean to make the exercises easier. So I'm gonna share with you three tools or pieces of advice that I recommend you try if you are overweight or obese and you wanna start calisthenics. And the first thing I recommend, this is hands down, probably the easiest and most effective way to drop weight, is intermittent fasting. All right, this is really popular right now. It's, it's been something people have been using for decades, probably if not centuries, but it's really making a resurgence right now online, especially on YouTube. A lot of people are using it. And I already made a video, a couple videos on intermittent fasting, so make sure you check those out. But the type of intermittent fasting I recommend is called 16-8, where you have a 16 hour fast and eight hour feeding window. And if you do it right, Right, sometimes I tend to cram three meals into the, the eight hour window, but if during your eight hour feeding window, you only eat two meals, you're essentially cutting out an entire meal, right? Your breakfast just doesn't exist anymore. And as long as those two meals that you eat aren't uh, unreasonably large, you will be eating significantly less calories than you were before. And this will help put you in a caloric deficit. And a caloric deficit is key to start dropping weight. If you wanna learn more about my method for intermittent fasting, how I recommend easing into it, I will put a link below to my intermittent fasting how-to video, and I'll also put one of those cards up on the screen here, so make sure you check that out after you watch this video. The second thing I recommend if you are overweight or obese and you wanna start exercising and, and body weight exercise, especially if you are coming off of a sedentary lifestyle, like you're currently not exercising, that would be low impact cardio. And there's multiple forms, it could be swimming, it could be a bicycling, but the number one thing I recommend, I think it's most accessible for everyone, is walking. A lot of people, they'll say, oh, start jogging, but if you're really overweight, jogging or running is gonna be really tough on your ankles and your knees. It's just not, it's not easy on your joints. But walking is good for everybody. Aside from being low impact on your joints, Walking is also really good because the way you move, it kind of gently jostles your organs. It's actually very good for your organs. And it's just a really good form of cardio. Your heart rate is slightly elevated for an extended period of time. I recommend aiming for about one mile and getting that in 20 minutes. That's a good starting pace. And then try to increase your pace till you're doing a mile in 15 minutes. And once you're doing one mile in 15 minutes, try to double that try to go two miles in 30 minutes. And once you reach that point, you're walking two miles a day, and you can do that every day, seven days a week, combined with intermittent fasting, you will be losing weight. And the third thing I recommend is taking advantage of angle of leverage. 
Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, just bear with me for a minute. But if you're extremely overweight, if you're morbidly obese, then you're probably going to want to hold off on push-ups and, and other calisthenics exercises in the beginning because those will be just too tough. All right, they'll, you'll be too heavy and it could be damaging to your joints. So I recommend sticking with the walking and the intermittent fasting in the beginning. And once you've dropped enough weight, then start the resistance exercises. But if you're not morbidly obese and you just have some extra weight on you, what you can do is you can start the exercises taking advantage of angle of leverage to make the exercises easier. If you haven't seen my beginner video yet, my beginner routine, make sure you check that out because I demonstrate progressions where you start off, for example, with push-ups. You can actually do push-ups against a wall. That's the easiest variation where you're standing a couple feet away from a wall and leaning into it. And this is gonna decrease the resistance dramatically. And for a very heavy person, this will make it more approachable and more accessible. Once you're able to do the push-ups against the wall consistently and you've dropped some weight, you can start doing them on an incline platform, okay? Meaning a raised platform so your body is on an incline, maybe 45 degrees or so. And what you'll find is that as you do these angle of leverage exercises and you get yourself closer and closer to the floor, you'll be making them more difficult. And if you do that gradually, combined with the walking and the intermittent fasting, you're gonna be gradually building strength while reducing your body fat and that increases relative strength. Relative strength is basically just how strong you are versus how much you weigh. You can also apply the concept of angle of leverage to pull-ups by getting beneath your dip station and doing body weight rows. You can do them with straight legs. That's a little harder than bent legs, right? So you can gradually, uh, progressively make it more difficult. You can do the same with squats, except with squats, instead of angle of leverage, it's more like range of motion. Doing a partial body weight squat will be easier than doing you know, halfway to the ground and then, and then deep squat and so on. So take advantage of progressions, angle of leverage, and a quick word on explosive exercises. Those are high impact. So if you're overweight, okay, significantly overweight, definitely avoid any high impact or explosive movements. Wait until you drop the weight so you don't risk damaging your joints. So I hope this video was helpful for any of you who wanna start calisthenics but you're overweight and you find that your weight is holding you back, all right? You might need to reprioritize just a little bit, you know, focus on intermittent fasting, focus on daily walking or other low impact cardio. You won't regret it. As you drop the weight, you'll see that it's actually helping you progress faster into calisthenics. And guys, don't forget, if you're new to my channel and the idea of keeping healthy and fit at home without a gym sounds good and exciting to you, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you get notified every time I upload. All right? And I'll see you guys in the next video.